morning, everybody. Um, I, it is a Saturday morning. Um, I've had a fairly busy week at work. Um, and as a result, I haven't actually charged the car since um, Sunday. Now, during the week, I have done 120 kilometers on the nose. My estimate range is meant to be another 49 kilometers, so that would mean I'd actually get over the 160 kilometer magic marker. Or 100 miles if you're so inclined. Um, so what I'm going to do today, it's Saturday morning, I am going to drive to Cork City, or I'm going to make an attempt at driving to Cork City, I should say, um, and see if I can pass the 160 kilometers today while it's actually doing some practical driving. I have to be honest, the 120 kilometers I've driven has been rather slow. Um, it's been around town, and uh, I haven't done much, uh, yeah, much fast driving, and uh, just fairly slow, sort of average 50 kilometer an hour uh, city driving. Um, I haven't really had to mind my driving, although I did drive in eco mode, and with my um, AC turned off, it's only about 14, 15 degrees at the moment, there's no need for an air conditioning. So I, uh, yeah, it's also a little bit windy at the moment, so I might come to regret this, but hey, let's see now. 49 kilometer estimate range, my destination will be about 36 kilometers away, so that means I've got about a 13, 14 kilometer, yeah, a little bit more, um, you know, buffer. So I'll just have to mind my acceleration and we'll see how far we get. Now we're halfway, so we are in uh, Rathdorf. As you can see, I have another 19 kilometers left to my destination. I have 29 kilometers remaining. My average is 14. I've done an average kilometer per hour of 26. Uh, most of that is due to the slow driving in town. Now, as you might have seen, I have my speed limiter set to 82. This is a 100 kilometer hour road in most places. This is a 60 kilometer bit. Um, I, the reason I started filming here is because it actually is, is, is halfway, and the next half is going to be more downhill than uphill. So I'm quite confident I'll actually be able to make it. Um, it'll also mean that I'll actually have done more than um, 160 kilometers on one charge, or just about. So, uh, yeah. Onward. Now here we are, 161.4 kilometers driven. Average 13.5, which is quite good. Um, nothing regenerated, so this is done purely on the content of the battery. So it's 160 kilometers purely on the content of the battery. Now I still have one kilowatt left, or you know, less than one kilowatt, because if you look at this, there's still 11 kilometers remaining. I haven't reached the red zone yet. The red zone is about 8%, so I reckon if I plug this in, I reckon I probably will see 8 to 10 percent still remaining. So that's good to know. I will probably be able to do 170 if I just kept on driving. I had to actually do a bit of a detour because I wouldn't have reached the uh, 160 uh, in one go. But I'm delighted with myself. So I'm going to plug in and we'll see what percentage we've got. And I hate it when I'm right. 8 percent remaining. Excellent. Time to get some coffee. Now and here we are, 11.38. Um, the car's been charging for about an hour and 20 minutes. Now, uh, one thing I always enjoy is that um, the, the car charges rather rapidly around here. Now, I do find that if you have a bit of an unbalanced battery pack, as in if you start from a very low charge, the the time it gives and the percentage you sometimes get, like this car was at 99% for a good while and I've just unplugged and when I got in the car it said it was 94% battery power. So that means that the 99% that was showing on the display isn't entirely accurate. Now that, in my view, is due to an unbalanced battery pack. Now I bet, I bet if I actually were to plug in now again it'll be back at 99% in no time. Um, so I, I might I might just do that. I'm, I'm in absolutely no rush. So um, considering it's a nice and sunny day, 
we'll, uh, we'll plug in and we'll see what the actual display says. So here we go, um, as I expected, 95% and I have, it has, it had been at 99% for at least, I'd say 20 minutes. Um, so these are the kind of things that I find with this car, sometimes a tiny bit of an inaccuracy. Now in practice the 5% wouldn't have mattered too much, but I do have the feeling that if you have a bit of a more balanced battery pack, you get better performance. So I'll just sit here for another five or 10 minutes until we're back at 99%. Now, just to prove that I wasn't making this thing up, 11.33, I unplugged. My battery level was 99% with an estimate range of 146 kilometers. And as you saw, when I turned the car on or when I plugged it back in, it was at 95%. So it basically lost four or 5% in the space of, <laughs> well, plugging and unplugging. Right, in the meantime, as you can probably see, we're back at 99%. And um, that was only two or three minutes. Um, I'm still waiting to see how long it takes to actually get that 1% gone and that can be anywhere from like 10 minutes. I've seen it as long as two hours um, So uh, we'll have to wait and see but I'm uh, I, I'm gonna go home because I've, uh, I've, I've I've had enough. It's a lovely day time to go out and enjoy it Just to show the Tom Tom live in action you see the little the orange and the red triangles there yeah I'd say they're pretty accurate there is uh, traffic jams coming from left right and center so uh, that's the TomTom Tom Live uh, personally it wouldn't be worth my while because I don't do a lot of driving but if you have a commute in a fairly congested area TomTom Tom Live be great